Oh yeah, everyone, welcome back to the Simulation Only Manchester Hey Care Mode season finale of season one. So, last few Premier League games, Arsenal away, Chelsea at home, Crystal Palace away with the FA Cup final in between. For some reason, that's not like on the 29th of June or whatever, of May. And then we'll swim through to the end of June to find out either or not I've been sacked. So, while I've been off in the videos, I've been split between the episodes, I've been going through each individual player for contract wise. We grant Cavani and Dillian will be gone. I can't offer any of the loan players a contract because they just can't, because you can select the options. What might be cool? Lingard, I'm not going to keep. I will sell him ultimately. So I'll actually. Add him to the transfer list. Eaton, I'll add to the transfer list. Dallow, I'm trying to keep him. I couldn't extend his contract quite far. It was only a one season extension, so I was like, fuck that, I'll wait to do. As you see, the length are not, the man's not met. That's me. The rest I'll sort out at the end of probably the next video. But, first game, also at home, also away, I mean. A win here will put us touch a distance of guaranteed Chelsea football. Quick sim. Basically, we'll need to win it to have a chance and one each. 87th minute. That's no good. Because we need to win games to get Champions League or I'm going to get sacked. And this is going to end in this episode. I didn't plan for this series to end in this episode. If you come final, long sim, any changes? I'm happy enough to go with that. And the parts of the videos that have been, obviously, and the off parts have been going through and adding players to the transfer targets with aims for next season, if I'm still here. Obviously, if you can start this episode, then you'll see on Thursday a brand new career mode video. So, as I've just taken a bit of water, we'll load into the FA Cup final. For some reason, this isn't at the end of the season, which I was kind of expected to be. Okay, jumping in for the first cup final of this series. Hopefully we get a win, because I'm pretty sure the board won't be to win, so I think a win this, this trophy should hopefully see me out for next season. 100% I won't show any of the transfer targets in this episode. I'm trying not to. Just to keep it as a surprise for next episode when I do the transfer special. Which will literally be massive. Jaden Sancho. Come on. Start off well. So they're very well putting them under pressure. It's like, with this series, it definitely has shown a lot of interest, which I am very grateful for. How the fuck's that not went in? Has it me playing FIFA? Or even me playing football the other day? Just cannot fucking score. After a shot, after a shot. Knock about, well, should have scored after Bruno Bowles off, not Ronaldo Bowles offside anyway. Love pill knockabout very simple. And I know you'll like that if you've got to this part of the video by very simple. Anyone at this part of the what do what I mean by that? Just between me and my friend that moans with me saying very simple quite a lot in these videos, so fucking very simple, have that. <laughs> but nah. Try to knock about, hey, the fuck's it? Just, just shoot. There's no instruction just to say, fucking shoot your pricks or something. Because they're fucking joking. I know I would say, like, I'll play these games, but. <coughs> Pogba scored a Bruno assist, but I'll try, I think, to keep it a full on to simulation only. Cup finals, they're long sim. Last video, or like a Champions League. Day a long sim. Champions League, long sim. 
Cup semi final or final, Long Sim. The final video, final game of the episode, Long Sim. Can we hold it half time? Please, just hold it half time. Come on, yes. Resume. Back to attacking. That's good. They're looking like they've sorted that finally. Hopefully, you can win the FA Cup here. Get Champions League. Maybe in Chelsea and Palace, and then we should be safe for next season to at least have a season two of this. Because if you get sacked in this. It's like going to be so annoying. Because I obviously want to at least have three to four seasons with each club. That would kind of be good. I kind of day was like about eight to nine episodes a season. Maybe ten, depending on what if, you, if we could have got the cha to the Champions League final. If we all were getting further in the... As Kelly and Bappy scores as I'm talking. And the League Cup, just in everything, if I can get further in competitions, I basically just get more episodes out of it, and you just get more enjoyment out of it. Because it's clear that the views are there, so it's definitely worthwhile you putting the time and effort into recording these, and getting them up for use. But, we'll keep going. If it's a third year, we'll make a couple of, probably make a couple of changes anyway. We'll bring off Mbappé for Rashford, bring on Cavani for Jaden. we'll keep the final stuff for the last 15. Pick up, bring on Donny or Jesse, depending on kind of that style I need. Do I need to try and press for another goal to guarantee it? Can I just sit in with Donny and have those deep line chances? After this attack, I'll make a change. Fino with Jaden Sajo. Right, well, Donny can come on now. Donny Van the Beek actually getting getting in this career mode, unlike Manchester United in real life. Came on the other night against Atalanta for the last five minutes or so. Unfortunately, could he grab a winner late, very late on in Italy? Well, United do it to each. Just talk about it nicely. It's going to be an FA Cup final win. So thank fuck for that. Six minutes left. See it out. Keep a clean sheet in the FA Cup final against the Scousers. If I do that in real life this season, that would be very nice. Obviously, I'd rather the Premier League title than the FA Cup title, I would say. I think that's a bit obvious. And any second, now it's going to blow up for full time. And that is it. FA Cup final winners. Unfortunately, we don't see a trophy, but it's what it is. Maybe in situations like that, I actually just jump into the match in the last few seconds just to get that, but 5 through, bet level 3 now. I can't even go back. Never mind, I was going to go back and further the results, but hell. Right. Chelsea away now. Board assessment. Oh shit. Looks unlikely. How the fuck am I supposed to? I don't know how I'm supposed to do it to South America, but fair enough for the win streak. Don't know how I'm supposed to do the South America one. Looking at options. Is this that? Like with the players are looking to bring in, there's no point. Focus on your fit, but you're not getting a fucking contract you pick. You scumbag. Drag the big man. Fuck off. City kind of running riot right now, 17 points ahead of Chelsea. No love, but I mean, because I've seen Chelsea just above us. So we need to win here to get back into the Champions League places. A, a draw doesn't do anything. 
So, what we have to do, I've City 30 points behind City. If I'm not sacked off in the back of that, then fuck's sake, by the way. But there, <coughs> didn't even mean that pick. Fuck's sake. Well, there's one of the players I'm, I'm not really, it's like, well, moving some head is basically a backup. It's not really like a nailed on option. Like, <coughs> just be quick sim, a win's needed over basically the Champions League next season. It's a draw. Shit. How many draws do we need? How many draws do we need? How many draws? Say it. How many draws? I need to win. Oh, they are long sim. Because it's aesthetic with the last match for the episode because there is the break. 18 for Ajax. Don't think I'll even get that until next season. So I should really have blocked that shit though. I really shouldn't have like sold until next season. But hey oh, gone he gone. I need you to stay fit, Kelly and like I don't I hate that these messages keep coming through. It's like it's obvious. Right, last video, well, last episode of the season, last game of season one, possibly the last episode of the series with Manchester United, because I think if we don't get Champions League, I think we're going to be sacked, so, second long sim, let's get into it, fourth game of the episode, last game of the episode, a win's a must, a win is a must. Right, this one's to take his time with the EA servers. Right, let's go. A win here is much needed. If we don't win, then we'll guarantee, well, not guarantee, well, there's guaranteed you will play football next season. Unless Chelsea get pumped. But a win here where at Sellers Park is needed. If we need to absolutely go gung ho, 16th minute to get it, then we will. Oh, fuck's sake. Jesus Christ. Imagine this in real life. No offense, it's like Louis Van Gaal's was it first season? Then of his first season. With United having to basically hope City will lose and United win by a fair good goal margin to get Champions League for the following season. So... Let's go, just keep knocking about nicely. Big switch of play. I just realised that we are not in the red. I'm so fucking blind. I thought that was us defending. I'd... Oh my god, my heat is not switched on today, right now. You knock it about, come on. You're losing the now. You've not even, you've had three shots. Come on. Switch the fucking play, Jaden's in. Jaden scores. Unlike real life, Jaden Sancho scores in his career mode. See? When they say FIFA, FIFA is unrealistic, they mean it as unrealistic. They hold on here. Can you see this attack through? So he just needs to fucking put the cut in the heat and just take a bit. Knocking about, balls in. He knocked off a, oh, that's a goal kick, never mind. Come on, keep knocking about nicely, don't fucking fuck up. That's the motto, don't fucking fuck up. Knock about, ball in. 2-0, Kelly and Papi, basically it's guaranteed now, I think the result, obviously we'll see the game through, because anything could happen with EA and FIFA. Cristiano Ronaldo turns up, 3-0, Sancho and Papi, Ronaldo, they've not had a shot, here we go, I think they'll be safe to say that we're guaranteed a win. Just go hope either Spurs or Chelsea. 
I fail to pick up the points. Either of them draw, and we see this out, we're guaranteed Champions League points next season. If not, I think I'm sacked, and that's it. This will end in one season. But then we'll move on to the next club, which I'll need to decide which one that is. I've got one, I've got one in mind for the next one, but it's preferably after all four seasons at United. But if it's having to be at the end of the first season, then fuck. But we'll see. If you're watching the now, leave a comment suggestion, leave a suggestion below of a club you'd want me to do next. Obviously it won't be for the next, I would think, three to four weeks. Just because even if we're sacked for United in this episode, the next club I know that I'm going to do, I hope I'll be able to see a season there, which two episodes a week will roughly be the same as the United. So say at least a month. So, with that, we'll see. Hopefully we can see it this season with United. Hopefully we can see it the full four seasons as I want to do. And I probably should make some subs. Palace are yet to have a shot, but now we can come off. No, Dory can just go on the right wing. Fuck it, why not? And no what we'll do the pass egg by in the centre of the park, why not? With three up with fifteen left oh what was it, twelve left? 11 left, here we go, may as well take the piss, because by the time the subs are happening anyway, we'll probably be the 85th minute. Can we refrain Palace for you having a shot on target, which would be funny. Why is a shot on target, a shot in general? Because even though United come to town, and if it was like this scoring, you'd still be expecting the side to have a shot. Wait, 87 minutes in, they have a, finally have a shot. It's clear that Nate needs some scared on, by the way. It's very clear. Nate needs get on. Get the subs way too late. That's it. Fina win. Is it enough? Spurs won. Oh no. Spurs have won, so we can't really fuck them. I didn't see the Chelsea result there. We just nicked it. We fucking just nicked it. Oh, just like in Champions League places for next season. Chelsea must have do it then. What was that? What was that result? They lost at home. Oh, yes, Watford. Watford survive. And the relegation zone is Brentford, Norwich, and Newcastle United. European football is City. Liverpool spars on us, where there will be Chelsea and Arsenal in the Europa League. Obviously we won the FA Cup, so that will just beat her down to Arsenal for the Europa League place next season. Top goal scorer is Sergio Mario with 28, followed by Cristiano Ronaldo with 22, Salah with 20. Did I get any other players in the top? That's probably why we failed this season. It's like Ronaldo. Where's our next one? They were to be seen that even at 10 goals, or might be joint with 10 goals, but that shows a difference. There's no players I can actually sign on a pre contract, really, so we'll need to move through. So it looks like Jason Linger will not be moving on this season. Well, there's another player. These are all like kind of like backups and not like main guarantees. For obviously, can say next season. This will be now the time. Players' contracts, all three of them I'm happy enough to sell on. Or not sell on, but release. Lingard for Liverpool. I know what, I'm going to reject it and wait till next season. So I can always get some money for next season. If I'm to stay. I don't know if I'm guaranteed. Any youth players getting released? No. The youth players are going to be hard to kind of like get in and around the club because you can't just train them up and get them guaranteed to be good. Which fair enough. This makes the game more realistic, but you need to make it a bit more fair, I would say. Well, fair, it is fair doing it this way. 
Where's your fire through? I'm not doing that. Hold it for next season for Lingard and then I'll get some more money from next summer. That'll probably be coming through every week. Right, if you've enjoyed this first season of the Manchester United Singer, it's only been so far. Please leave a like to the channel, subscribe. I don't even see that. Shit. Oh no, and I can't even. Oh no, I'm not even going to pause the video recording. I don't even know what that is. I didn't even know what that was. I just thought he think it was like a transfer for some fish. That guy just says, like, oh, you're getting sacked at the end of the season. Oh, that was probably what it was, wasn't it? Progress assessment. But I should inform you that it's under close observation. The club success is on. So, so, shit, shit, shit. That's probably what it was. So we'll find out any second now if we've been sacked. Season 2 or new club start? We'll find out now. Check the last little bit of notifications just before we go into it. Is it going to load or have I just broke the fucking system? And I'll somehow need to... Shit. There it is, it just took a bit of time to actually get back. All the loans, all the loans, all the loans, all the fucking loads and development. I thought I was going to have to reset it and try and get back in. Make a break. It won't come to a surprise as we're not entirely satisfied with the team results. We have failed a number of our objectives. Fall short of what we were hoping. For a clear commitment, we aren't waiting to rush a decision for the future. I feel you deserve another season to walk. Or what we will hope. You can achieve as Man, Man United, Manchester United manager. We'd like to discuss. We'd like you to remain position for next season. Please go to the club section if you want to discuss the contents of the season further. And with that, we have survived. Season 2 is happening. Ready to shine. Catch us in the next episode. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel with that. I'll catch us in the next one and goodbye.